Okay, so every now and then, you know, some of the show hosts after the show, they come into my office and they talk to me. It's like, I, I should be like a psychiatrist, you know, like talk to Montana. Just, 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 just be somebody we can just talk to. You ain't got to respond. Okay, yeah, just, I'm saying, I'm let, like, let me get on my chest. I know that's what I'm saying. I'm going to put like a couch or something in here. So mm. you just lay on the couch and just, you know, tell it to Montana. You know, tell it to Montana. I like that's that. I like that. So today I'm here with Dip, uh, Square Biz <laughs> Radio. Me and Dip, like, me and Dip have relationships conversations yeah. we find ourselves you know because I, I live vicariously through his dating life you know <laughs> just see what's going on who out there for him and he said something real interesting to me so he's been telling me about a young lady because right. Dip is you 30 now right 29 I'll be 30 next, next month okay he'll be 30 next month He's ready to, you know, start that family, right? Yeah, he wants yeah. some kids. He want to hear a little, little dip. dip. I need a little, little dip. Little dip, little, little pitter patter of little dip running yeah. around. Okay. So I said, okay, so this young lady that you said you would make the one. What was my question? You said, why am I dealing with it? We not serious. Yeah, I said, why y'all? Yeah, what is serious? the hold up on making it hold? serious? And you said. It's a, it's a combination of things. <laughs> now, nah, tell me what you say. I said she got some issues. She got some issues. But I love her issues. And you still, and these issues don't prohibit you from making her your wife or nah, your baby mama. No, nah. because see, you got to understand, it's not just, I, I didn't really tell you the whole before you just jumped. Before jump, I jumped. Because <laughs> you got to understand, like, it, it, it is some issue, but... I, I'm I'm a hundred percent confident that she had my back though. Give me give me an example of an issue. Of an issue. She got da daddy issues. So she got daddy issues. She got daddy issues. What is it? Because let me just say for God, and I'm gonna be real green because I did grow up with my daddy in the house. Mm -hmm. So what what does that mean? When well, you know, uh, she she didn't grow up in the house with a biological father. Her stepdad died, and you know. And you know that relationship between him and her mama, you know, it it wasn't nothing I was used to. Like it just her dad issues, you know. She she just her, her relationship with me is just not as strong mm. as the girl who the dad. She's not dad's little girl. Mm. So you know, love coming from a man sometimes, you know, she don't really just know, you know how, how to, to how to how to take yeah, it. how to take it. Okay, I got you. You know, so you've been having some issues on breaking, breaking that, breaking through, getting that wall down to where she kind of got a, uh, uh, you know, we, you know, we're not gonna, we're not gonna, let's not get too serious, but don't go too far away. Got you. She want to keep you in the yes. midst. I want to keep each other. Keep each other in the midst. In the midst. I, okay. I do, you know, you know, single man thing, you know. <laughs> but I'm single, so I can do that. So technically, she's single too. She a uh, dollar bill. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but see, let me let me let me tell you this because we didn't talk about this. Okay, what? She been there for me through a lot of tough times, days when wasn't nobody else there. So, and you know her, her views on how she wanted to raise her kids and her beliefs, you know, you know, come down to. Um, uh, religion and you know just do, and everything that she brings to the table is what I want it's in the woman. It's just it's about doing it the right way for her. And exactly because you let me know this young lady has goals, goals which is and aspirations, right? Which is a good thing, and you okay with that? I'm great with that because them goals are gonna help us pay the bills. <laughs> right on. <laughs> okay, so just let me ask you this the million dollar question and this will yeah. be our last last little bit, okay? okay? Let's say that those goals interfere with y'all forever, ever after. Are you gonna be okay with that? Nah. Hell no. Nah. Hell no, okay nah, man. We gotta look at some point. Fuck them goals. I mean I fuck them. But look at her now. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying that, like, I'm like, I'm let's help each other reach our goals. Since right. you can't reach them by yourself, let me lend you a helping hand. And if that don't work, then Jesus is gonna have to gonna send have to my heart somewhere in. else. Right on. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, hey, that's ask but uh, tell it to my tell it to Montana <laughs> with DJ Dip, y'all, right oh here at the God. after party. Thank you.